just uh, use the cable car to get way up here from way down there. Okay, so Herod the Great, who was the one that killed all the baby boys that were two and under, he actually occupied Masada and he built palaces and he defended Masada between 37 and 31 BC. I believe it was Herod who built a palace up here and we're basically on this, this big plateau, like giant plateau in the middle of the desert. Like you can see, you can see all. So after Herod built all of this and after he died and whatnot, it was still a fortress, a Roman fortress and they just had a garrison here. Matt, what, what were the rebels called? The Jews? When the rebels came up, they overthrew the, uh, the garrison here. This became their stronghold. There's so much here to see. I mean, it came, it came down right there. This drops down for what seems like forever. We're at the the top of the northern palace right now. This is where Herod hung out and it is definitely the biggest part of the palace. I mean it's it's as big as a lot of houses just right here. Here's what remains of the second terraced palace. Herod would stay at the top palace, and he only stayed here for you know, a week or two every year. This wasn't his main palace by any means, but he'd, he'd stay at the top palace and he'd entertain guests at the bottom two palaces. And this, this is the bottom. Wow, and this is all all original. This is over 2,000 years old. This doesn't seem like a very big palace, but I mean it is three, three levels. This is a mighty fortress, that's for sure. So I, I'm guessing this is like his, his party palace. Uh, this is definitely the most intact one. It looks like it's the one that had the best view. This is one of the places where they got water. Back in ancient times, they had a channel coming through here that would feed the rainwater right into these holes on the sides of the cliff, which is a crazy, crazy cool thing. So a cool thing about the baths is that in one portion of the baths, they had a place where they would heat water and actually run it under the floor so it would create a sauna effect, which is crazy that they could do that like 2,000 years ago. Sakar? They were causing such a nuisance to the Roman Empire that the Romans came in here with like 10,000 troops. I don't know, it was like a ton of troops. And it's, it's super high up here, but I guess they built a giant ramp to get their siege equipment up here and busted through that way, which is like, an, it's a huge, huge thing. But basically the Romans were about to, like they were on the verge of over, overpowering the, what were they called? The, the, the Sakari. Okay, so Sakari. Right now. Um, Just a minute. I'm Paige. This is where they uh, made their final stand, and instead of being over overpowered and cast into slavery again, they opted to commit mass suicide as a message, which. It's a pretty powerful message. As 
so we're back at the bottom of the mountain and uh, it was pretty incredible the the fortress of Masada is like nothing I've ever seen before and its story is incredible for sure and uh, yeah I didn't mention that before but Masada means fortress and it's it must have been a, an impressive fortress when it was when it was not in pieces. I'm gonna be pumping these videos out. Yeah, sorry about that. 